Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world and whenever you may be listening to this. Welcome to Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer. And today's topic is all around the energy of generosity of spirit. And I was sitting pondering this amazing energy and there have been so many things that popped up before I move on I do want to invite you if you're watching this in the future and you'd like to join me live you can get all the information that you need at orgasmicliving.live and back to generosity of spirit so what is that hi Tammy what is generosity of spirit it is the energy that you be it is the gift and the contribution that you can be to yourself, to your body, to the world, to the people around you. Generosity of spirit has an energy of gifting and receiving, where when you gift something or energy or presence, then you also receive from that gift that you're being. Generosity of spirit is um, limitless. There is an abundance of energy to be and to gift and to receive. So just be present with that energy for a minute because I also want to talk about the energy of being penurious. Penurious of spirit. So what is penurious? Penurious is actually, um, the, the definition is poverty stricken. Now, when you're with someone who is penurious of spirit, they are basically functioning from the energy of lack, from the energy of poverty, from the energy of not enough. So just be present with that energy. I was looking at this because in orgasmic living, like that is the energy of the creation of your life and the creation of your body. And I know for me, orgasmic living is a bit of an, uh, an internal, a personal thing that I had to play with at first. Like what is orgasmic living for me and for my body? What does that look like? What would that be like? And as I've developed that muscle of living orgasmically, then I've turned my awareness, my attention to the world around me. And part of that energy is the energy of generosity of spirit. Like, I'm, mo I'm most orgasmic and feeling joyful and alive and living when there is an energy of generosity of spirit that permeates through my whole entire life. Now, this hasn't always been the case. As a matter of fact, I used to be very naive around this particular topic and that is because um, I I am a naturally generous person I'm a naturally gifting person and because of the past and some of my trauma and abuse and I, I would find myself being very generous with people who actually were more on the penurious side. And what would happen was that in my exuberantly generous nature, I would gift and gift and gift, and then that person would either take, 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 and then turn at some point because their nature, their spirit was actually penurious. And then that would create this place where I would go into the wrongness of me, you know, like, not enough or all of that kind of stuff. So once I started picking away at that past story and letting it go and getting rid of it, I had noticed about a couple of years ago that I had cut off the generosity that I naturally be. I noticed that I was contracting and holding back and not being the energy of generosity of spirit, which again is innately part of who I am. And what started showing up when I realized like, oh, I'm holding back, like I'm not really allowing myself to be this energy, 
it actually started to hurt. It hurt my heart, it hurt my body, um, and it that in itself became a contraction. So I had to relearn about being generous and being aware of who to be that energy with. Now, I'm having this conversation with you with zero judgment. Zero judgment. This is not about anyone else being right or wrong or me being right or wrong. This is a a journey and an adventure in learning how to really truly be and occupy the space of me and be willing to be aware of other people and what's going to work and not work and what's going to create more and not create more. So I had to get really present with, okay, I am an innately generous person. I cannot cut that energy off from myself anymore because it's not a gift to me. I'm not being generous with myself in that moment, okay? So, okay, if I allow myself to be this energy, then who can I be this with that it would actually create more? So I had to look at those places where I was being very generous with someone who was innately penurious And then what that created, that wasn't comfortable, that didn't work. So who are the people in my life that are also innately generous, that I can actually be that energy with? I gift, they receive, I receive, they gift. It is a a continuous, simultaneous energy of gifting and receiving. I just wanna remind you, generosity of spirit is the energy that you be. I also want to add that it's the energy that your body be, but I'm going to have to do a completely different show on that. (laughs) The energy that you be and the contribution that you can be. I'm going to add the also knowing the contribution that you can be to someone's universe, to someone's world, to your world, to the world, to the universe. And so... I'm not, I also had to learn how to be present with innately penurious people. Because this isn't about cutting things out in, of your life, in a sense. Although I do recommend that. If you're, you know, with someone who's not a contribution and they continue to show up that way, they're just showing you who they are and you don't have to be with them. That's okay. And there are people that have innately penurious spirits and it's easy to be with them but you have to be aware of how much to gift to an innately penurious person so this is a conversation in awareness a conversation in presence a conversation about allowing yourself to be who you are being willing to know and be present with and have allowance for the people around you and having that knowing of how to interact and be without diminishing you. When I was cutting off my generosity of spirit, I was choosing to diminish myself and that was not a contribution. So now I allow myself to be that energy and I check in, okay, can this person receive what can they receive and allow myself to be whatever that is so i have a few i have i have some suggestions uh to make around this particular topic first i would like you to make a list of the energies that are important to you the energies that you value the energies that create orgasmic living for you the energies that when they are in your life they are a generative contribution generosity of spirit is one of those energies for me Um, kindness caring uh, you know honoring um, ease right Those are all energies that are really important to me. So what are the energies that are important to you? So that's step one. The next thing that I want you to do is make a list of all of the people that you have 
a lot of contact with or just all of the people in your life, however that works for you. But I, I, not just the people, I also want you to make a list of the places that you often go to, the spaces that you are often in, and then I want you to get present with the energy of each of those things. So when you think about a particular person, right, you write them on your list, when you think about them, is, that, is the energy between you that of generosity of spirit? Or maybe there's a little bit of penurious energy there. And again, this is not about judging. This is about getting present with what is. All of the, the places that you go to, whether it's your grocery store or where you go work out or where you go dancing or where you go to have dinner, get a sense of those places. Is that place a, a generous place for you and for your body? The spaces, like my apartment is a very generous space for me. Like, I love to travel, I travel a lot, and when I come home, I'm like <sighs> hugged in a warm blanket when I walk into my space. So getting present with everything in your life, right? We're adding consciousness and awareness to everything. This is part of living orgasmically. Living orgasmically is the energy of the creation of your life and of your body. And if you want that energy to be generative, you gotta get really present with yourself on what you're surrounding yourself, who, what, when, where you're surrounding yourself with. Okay, so, um, and then once you have that sense with each person, which each place, which each space, then it's a matter of just being present with the energy. Oh, okay, this is all just information. There's no right or wrong here. No good or bad, there's just information. Wow, this person is actually a really generative contribution for me. Wow, they actually, they do have a lot of generosity of spirit. They function from abundance and joy and they may have some, you know, penurious moments, but it's not the essence of who they are. Okay, cool, awesome, that's great information. Oh, this person, well, you know, they're a little more on the penurious side. Uh, and blah, 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 blah. It's just information. So that, for me, this has, this has really worked and helped me because I'm aware now of what I require on a daily basis and the energies that are going to contribute to me and the energies that maybe today is not a good day to, to have that because I'm, I'm doing these other things so I'll deal with you later kind of thing. Um, and if I'm in a place where I require like a lot of nurturing and a lot of caring, I know exactly where to go to, to be able to receive that and have that. Um, so that is my suggestions for you right now. I do want to add that, and I mentioned it earlier, that our bodies have a lot of generosity. And I will do a part two on this because that's a whole other big thing. And if you're not really clear, like what is, I, I hear you, this generosity of spirit thing, but I'm not so sure. Um, I want to name a few things that are, that have and be that energy of generosity of spirit that we're continuously surrounded by, your body being one of them. And this popped when I was looking at today's topic, like the universe is innately generous. The universe, the energy of the universe has, has a lot of generosity of spirit. If we um, allow and receive, the universe is always gifting to you, always gifting to your body. So my sweet friends, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for all of you. How does it get any better than this? If you'd like to join me live or suggest a topic that you would like for me to talk about, you can do so at orgasmicliving.live. Have a beautiful, orgasmically delicious day. I adore you all. Bye for now.